Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, we're going to continue in our How to Feel Worthy of the Promise video series. Now, this is part three. And part three has everything to do with God's love, right? One of the reasons why you may find yourself feeling unworthy of the promises of God <clears throat> is the fact that, you know, you don't even feel worthy of God's love. You don't, you know, you might be someone who question if God really loves you, you know, you may be someone who has a mindset of thinking God is punishing you or God is upset with you, right? You know, and sometimes when we have, you know, when we take on these type of mindsets concerning God, our Heavenly Father, it has a lot to do with, number one, you know, um, how we relate to our own parents, right? The way how I relate to my um, parents, the way how I see my own mother and father, that's exactly how I'm going to relate to God, okay? Um, but another piece of this puzzle is, you know, for some of us who feel like God, you know, we having a hard time accepting God's love and we, you know, might feel like, you know, we might find ourselves, you know, up under condemnation or second guessing God's love for us or thinking God is punishing us, right? You can't even figure out one reason why God would want to bless you. That has everything to do with you, you know, just looking at your past and where you came from, right? And so we are in a season where God wants us to forgive ourselves. He wants you to stop looking at your past. He wants you to, you know, um, because the Bible say, if any man is in Christ, he has a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come, right? The new is here. And so God wants us to focus on who we are today. He wants you to let go of your past, let go of the old person you used to be and step into this new creation he has already called you to be, okay? He wants you to experience the love of God, but in order to experience the love of God, number one, I got to step into it. Number two, I got to allow God to love on me and stop rejecting God, okay? <clears throat> and then number three, you know, I have to learn, you know, um, all about love according to, you know, scripture, right? And so for me, my starting point, you know, um, just learning how God loves love loves me was I went to Google and I typed the, I typed in Google scriptures on love and all the scriptures that came up, you know, that was my starting point. I wrote down all the scriptures on love. Uh, I began to meditate on these scriptures. I began to, you know, allow the scriptures to speak to my heart. Uh, I remember one particular scripture found in first Corinthians. I think it's chapter 13, verse one. <clears throat> it talks about love builds up, right? And that's what God is always doing. He's he, he always building us up. Yes, he will correct us, you know, but God is always building us up. All throughout this, this God ordained stance, you know, God always reminded me how I deserve this. I deserve that, right? When I had, you know, when I had bought my um truck, as soon as I sat in the truck, he said, you deserve it. Right. When one day when I was um, this was last year when I was working, when I was leaving um, the job and I was praying, I had just got finished praying for my spouse. Then I heard you deserve it. Right. He's always speaking like this to me. And, and you know, and that's what love is. Love builds you up. It don't want to, you know, tear you down or see you broken. It want to build you up. OK, it want to see you at your best. Love simply loves you. You know, love is unconditional. See, God love us because we are his children. Simply because we are his children. And this is why he want to bless you with this promise, right? But I say all that to say, um, in order for you to feel worthy of this promise, you have to allow God in so that you can feel the love of God in your life. So that God can come in and heal that, you know, that wound uh, that's causing you to feel unlovable. Maybe you around people who make you feel like you're hard to love. You got to let those people go. Maybe, you know, you had people from your past who told you, you would never find love again. You would never find someone such as myself. You got to, you know, rebuke their word curses and come into agreement with what God said. God loves you. He got a spouse that he is getting ready for you who's going to love you, okay? And also, we got to love ourselves in this process, Okay. Because if I don't feel worthy of the promise and if I'm doubting my Heavenly Father love me, you know, that's telling me, you know, where my level of self-love is at. So 
again, you know, uh, when we talk about how to feel worthy of the promise, it has everything to do with you, you know, like redefining love, God's way, embracing God's love for you, and understanding that God simply loves you because you are his child, okay? He want to give you, you know, a great spouse that you can do life with, that you can build with, right? You can create legacy with, but you got to be open to God's love, and you have to allow God to love on you the way how he wants to love on you. God wants to surprise you in his love story. He wants to show you that he loves you so much to where he will get your spouse in order for you. Okay? So this is part three. I'll see you in the next video. All right? Take care.